the challenges when you have a pet that you love and as part of your family and you are trying to either rent an apartment or buy a condo or a townhouse something that um, might have a pet restriction this is darby that she came with that name i did not name her that <laughs> we <Sure>. were <laughs> we rescued her she was found in a van in california went to Arkansas and she was Uber Animal Rescued to us. Uber Animal Rescued to you, that's pretty awesome. This is Allie, no longer a puppy unfortunately. Aww, but she's hi very, Allie. Very tame as you can see. She's from Georgia, she was a rescue dog from Katrina. We bought her oh, wow. at a Ramapo Bergen Refuge up in Oak. They're so good, I can't believe that they're not attacking each other. <laughs> this is Bella. Hi Bella. Bella. Is an eight month old uh, Husky Greyhound mix. She's also a rescue uh, that we just got a few months ago um, that came up from Alabama. Wow, we have a lot of southern dogs in this car. Yeah. Very nice. So let's just talk about for a second a little bit about what you've experienced as far as uh, working with clients who have pets and some of the challenges when you're trying to either rent an apartment with them or when you're trying to find a condo or a townhouse type complex for them. Have you had any issues or problems when you're really trying to place people with, with that have animals? Sing. Obviously at a house they can do whatever they want, but when you go to a condo complex you have to be sure that it's a condo complex that's pet friendly. That's right. It could save a lot of time if you know right away what complexes do, what complexes don't, so you don't really spend your time in a place that you're not going to be able to, to move into if you have pets. I have seen through the years many times that when you get an application with a pet, a lot of the good pet owners are excellent tenants. You know, um, pet friendly, pet lovers in general are very, very good tenants. They take care of the property. If they're respectful with their their dogs, they also take care of your property as well. Is there any tips or hints that you can say uh, that might make it a better chance for your application to get accepted with an animal? Well, I know we've discussed that bringing the animal on the interview. Mm -hmm. That's great. It, if it's a well-behaved <laughs> animal, <laughs> okay. yes. it could be a plus. To me that you had someone who actually brought in their vet records or maybe there was a letter from their Just vet? showing that the, the animal's in good health are good about their health and everything else. Always tend to keep better care of everything from yourself to your pet to your, the police. From a landlord's perspective, I know everyone's always concerned about keeping the property in good condition and not having any damage. Sometimes they want extra security. I know in the state of New Jersey, you can't charge more than a month and a half security deposit. Lucky enough to know if the homeowner or the landlord is a pet lover and has a pet. Right, so maybe if you represent the landlord, making that clear, if you do accept a t uh, pet in your listing, you do open up your pool of tenants, potential tenants. 65% like of homeowners now, or of, of um, people own animals. Wow, that's so a big percentage, if right? now, anybody who owns any animal from being able to rent to them, you're really limiting your field uh, of prospective renters. More than just a good pet owner, you have to have a good pet and be very honest and upfront about everything that, that may happen with you. On the list of things that we went through when we were discussing uh, roadside real estate, it's a dog's life, <laughs> is there anything else that there is that maybe we can um, let everyone know might make it easier? So the interview, the pet, a resume might make it easier. Uh, the letter from the vet, meeting the animal, maybe a higher security deposit. Anything else there that maybe we can suggest if someone's considering it? If you're, like I said earlier, if you're bringing your pet on an interview too, everybody knows I dress my dog up. Yes. <laughs> oh my but goodness. sometimes it's good if you dress them the part because it relaxes your pet a little more. And sometimes when they need a new person, they could be a little more hyper right. just because they're being friendly and they don't know them yet. Well, so look at these three. Good. I don't think uh, any of true. these three uh, need any more relaxing. <laughs> I think very, Darby's very asleep. I think Darby is asleep actually. <laughs> <laughs> Even with She's all like these friends in the car. She's like a baby with car ride. <laughs> so, so cute. Well, thank you guys so much and um, I really appreciate your time and your expertise on helping people that have animals. And of course, if anyone has any questions, especially you three could really answer. Being an animal lovers yourselves, I know that you know a lot about this topic and have helped a lot of great people. Well, thank you so much for joining us at Roadside Real Estate and we'll see you soon. Bye.